Blog Talk Radio. Hey there, everyone. This is Danny Myers from Cosmic Crash, and you're listening to the Lena Jones Morning Sparkle. Good morning, everyone. Guess what day it is? It's Friday! <coughs> I know they came out all wrong. <laughs> it came out all wrong. So. <clears throat> I'm still in my morning mode. I haven't had my cup of tea yet. My voice is sounding all raspy, but that's okay. Don't you? I don't have the, uh, the best radio voice. At least I don't think so. Anyway, um, how are you today? How's your weekend plans coming along? You know, I um, I don't really have any plans this weekend. I'm just glad it's Friday. I'm glad that I don't have to wake up early tomorrow. <laughs> that's, that's it. That's the big plan, is that I don't have to wake up early tomorrow. I can uh, I can sleep in, um, I don't know, do some laundry, the usual stuff on Saturday. Everyone uh, seems to be the cleaning day Saturday. Well, guess what? The Groundhog Day bill. Groundhog Bill. He saw his shadow. Yeah. We got six more weeks of winter. Yep. Six more weeks of cold. Let's just hope it's not six weeks of snow. Because the snow is pretty and it's, it's always so pretty when it comes down and gets on the trees and on the rooftops. Everything is so still and white and pristine. You think it would be crime free <laughs> people find a way to commit a crime in the snow it doesn't even matter so I just hope it doesn't be like that so we don't all get uh, cabin fever okay but uh yeah today is February 2nd it is Groundhog Day and Phil Puxley Phil has seen his shadow so we have another six weeks winter did you know the Groundhog Day was a 132-year uh, tradition. I didn't know. I learn something new every day. Didn't know that. Um, anyway, what else did I have to say? Nick Foles, he plans to become a pastor after football. Did you know that? He is in the Eagles, the Philadelphia Eagles, and he's the one that throws the ball. He now plans to become a pastor after Football. I think he finished with football. I think that's such a good and it's brave because not everyone chooses to make that decision because it it's not hard. It's it's hard to make that decision when everything else around you is going just the opposite way. Being a pastor is not a vote of popularity. It's not going to make people follow you unless they're looking to come closer to Christ. So it's a it's not an easy decision to make when you when you have that calling and you accept the calling. There's plenty of blessings that come along with it. It's not just uh monetary. It's a blessing of saving a soul. Just the feeling of saving a soul, knowing that you save one. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Now, some people, I mean, do you pray? Not everybody prays. They don't know what to pray for. Their life may be doing well. They have money, uh, their house, uh, notice paid, they're making a mortgage, making a car payment, and they probably don't see what they have to pray for. Okay? So that's what my prayer is about this morning. My prayer is about when you don't know what to pray. Okay? If you most of us, we already know that even if things are going well, we still have to give the Lord thanks because just like things can go well, things can go bad. So we have to praise Him in all your circumstances. So this prayer says, this prayer is coming from Romans 8, 26-27, and it says, when I don't know what to pray. Romans 8, 26 through 27 says, In the same way the Spirit helps us in our weakness, 
we do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groans, with words, with groans that words cannot express. And he who searches our hearts know the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for the saints in accordance with God's will. That was Romans 8, 26 and 27, and here's a prayer. Lord, you know my friends' needs and the desires of her heart. But sometimes I don't know what to say or how to pray. Holy Spirit, you are the one who helps us in our weakness. When I don't know what to say, when I don't know what to pray for, you intercede for me with groans that words cannot express. Search my heart and intercede for my friend. Today, Lord, I pray that your will be done. And when you have a friend that don't know what to pray for, and you don't know what to pray for, you can refer to that. Or you can just look up at the sky and just thank the Lord for you breathing, being clothed, and in your right mind. That's what I do every morning. So we're going to start the section with Tariq, with He's My God. My, um, I have something seriously caught in my throat, and I need to go and get that taken care of. And I'll be right back. I'm just messed up this morning. I don't know. I didn't start out this way, but it ended up this way. Hands up, say Christ on 
if you want Christ, the fish with a fisher at, or swim with the fishes, fish in a fishing net, get pulled out the water, if not, you ain't living yet, and this Christ hungry, you ain't with a dinner at, you won't get anything, you lifeless and you tasteless and you tasteless and you lifeless, and I pray to God that you make it, you ain't glorified, you naked, we walk in water where the lake is, Peter walk without sinking, the mind of Christ we thank with, he came down, it was all for me, filled me up when I was all on it. Just been told 